There was great anticipation ahead of this year's elite men's road race in Carlingford, centred around the possibility of three-time defending champion Matt Bremie possibly taking his fourth consecutive national title. The absence of Dan Martin and Nicholas Roach due to Tour de France preparations was never going to have too much of an impact, with a relatively flat and fast course adding to the opportunity for domestically based riders to remain in the mix for much of the day. Favourable weather conditions, dry but windy, were going to make for fast racing from the gun and this proved the case as Matt Bremier set about attacking, with Philip Lavery of Amical Byzantine and David McCann of Synergy Baku in close attendance. This nature of attacks was going to be the case for the first number of laps. Through the finish line at the first lap, a breakaway trio of Matt Bremier, Philip Lavery and Philip Dignan worked well together. Through the start-finish area for the third time, Philip Dignan of United Healthcare crashed out of the leading trio and with cuts to his hip and a slipped chain, had to chase hard to rejoin the chasing trio. They worked well together and eventually closed the 18-second gap to make it six out front. During the middle part of the race, a group of 10 moved off the front of the peloton and with all riders working well together, they quickly closed the gap on the leading six. With the gap between the leaders and 10 chasers tumbling, it wasn't long before the chasers made the junction. McCann, Bremier, Dignan, Lavery, Bennett and Bacali were now joined by the chasers including Paddy O'Brien, Connor Dunn, Neil Delahaye, Dominic Jelfs, Mark Dowling, Stephen Clancy, Rona McLaughlin, Jack Wilson and Aaron Bogle. Into the final lap and an attack by Damien Shaw of Aqua Blue set the mark for what was going to be the race winning move. As expected, Matt Bramier and Philip Lavery were quick to seize the opportunity to get across, with Connor Dunn also ensuring that the four would continue to power away, while the gap quickly went out to 14 and then 18 seconds. On the back of the course, the race was being decided as their lead went out to 34 seconds. Through Carlingford, Philip Lavery attacked, quickly followed by Bremier and Damien Shaw. Dunn, however, was showing signs of fatigue. The toll of his crash in the Ross last month saw Connor Dunn drop back from the leaders, leaving three to contest the podium. Into the stiff headwind of the finish, Shaw was content to lead out the duo of Bramier and Lavery, with Bramier finishing strongly to take the gallop from Lavery of Amical Byzantine, with a very contented Damien Shaw of Aqua Blue impressive in third. Paddy O'Brien of Planet Tri took the sprint for fourth from Rona McLaughlin of On Post Chain Reaction. And with Matthew Premier, national champion, the Leeds 2013. Matt, how did how did it go today for you? Ah, it was a, it was a hard day out. It was uh, it wasn't enjoyable. Did you uh, did you feel earlier on the day that you were going to go in the first uh, 10k? Was that your plan to just break up the race? Yeah, I, yeah, I wanted to uh, to make it a hard race and you know start racing early and. That was kind of the only way, I think, to, uh, to whittle it down before the finish. Did everybody work well on the, the break with you when you had Philip and yourself and then, uh, and uh, Dagnan? Ah, not really, you know, it was, you know, there was people sandbagging all day, but you know, that's racing, that's how it is. But uh, the final break there at the end, everyone was pulling good and it was a good little move at the end. What do you got planned after this now for the season? I go to China next week for Chingai Lake. I'm with Damien Shaw, Aqua Blue, uh, bronze medal in the Irish National Cycling Championships 2013. Damien, you must be delighted. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Now it's again, it's a big, big result for me uh, and for domestic uh, riders. Can you tell me how you ended up in the lead group there? Was it just you were fighting, you're pushing your way up to the groups? Because um, in the earlier group, all the big names are up there. The heads of state were up there. Yeah, um, I wasn't feeling great uh, at the start. The first maybe 40, 50 k, I ended up up the road. Um, I just didn't feel great. Now um, I went back, uh, like the pros do. I went back and ate and drank and looked after myself a little bit. I just felt stronger as it went on. So coming into the finish, did you think that you'd? Uh, have a go at the sprint because you let out the sprint didn't you? Uh, I did yeah um, I'll be perfectly honest I just wanted to keep the gap from behind uh, I knew the two boys were a good bit stronger um, I couldn't jump around I was suffering a little bit so I just I wanted to get in really I let them uh, I let them decide it themselves 
in the under 23 as Spurs category. Jack Wilson of Unpeated Chain Reaction took the win from Cormac Clark of Newry Wheelers and Connor Dunn of VI Technics. Matt Premier of Champion Systems Pro Cycling retains his National Elite Men's Road Race title for the fourth consecutive time, acknowledging a fine weekend of racing in Carlingford County Louth, hosted by Cook Cullen Cycling Club.